Hola, 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 mis amores, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? So, I am back with another video, another story with another celebrity. So, we can take a look at this celebrity, this situation, and dissect, analyze, learn, right? So, apparently, T.I.'s son, King, got into some type of heated altercation with both his parents while he was on Instagram Live. Um... And uh, apparently what's been happening is a lot of people have been uh, coming for him on the internet, right? So they've been really saying some not so nice things about uh, T.I. Um, uh, or in T.I.'s son as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's been going on here. Okay, so you just saw that clip and, um, you know, I guess he's kind of going off. They're watching this game and he starts going off saying things like, you better respect my people and things like that. Um, and so you can kind of already tell that he's, it's almost like, you know, when kids do this, usually it's a cry for attention. So usually there is a lot more deep, deeply rooted issues and challenges going on there. Um, so that's the first thing that comes to my mind, right? Because he's, uh, I believe he's about 19 years old. So he's at that age still where if the work for, um, you know, getting a lot of that pain and that hurt wasn't done during his teenage years because that's when it peaks as far as behavioral consequences and them lashing out then you know it kind of transitions into their adulthood right and you kind of see it get worse but the worst part about it getting worse is it's harder to address and it's harder to tackle at that point in time. Man, you ain't nobody's dead. You heard what I said. What you gonna do? I'ma leave. I know you. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? No, I ain't no joking. You are embarrassing yourself and your family. Nigga, you are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. So, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, in looking at that video and his altercation with his parents, it's like... You know, the way T.I. responded, the way T.I. sounded, it sounded just like him. It sounded just like the kiddo, right? It sounded just like King, right? So you can't do nothing to me. Da -da 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 -da. So, you know, T.I. starts to buck up and 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 meet him at that same level. Um, I don't know that that's helpful. Uh, but I, the one thing that I can say is I can see where kiddo gets it from. I can see where King gets it from, from a, from a psychological perspective and a behavioral perspective. Okay, so children learn from their surroundings. Okay, and the way that King is speaking makes me think that he has had to experience a lot of emotionally hurtful things while growing up and during his development. Um, and the way that he is choosing to try and cope with those emotionally hurtful things is by basically mimicking his father. 
Okay. So when kiddos exhibit this behavior where it's, they're trying so hard and so desperately to prove themselves. Okay. I want you to think about this. Why would they be trying so hard to prove themselves? The reason they're trying so hard to prove themselves is because they don't feel like they are good enough. They don't feel like they are enough the way that they are just being just as is. So for whatever reason or reasons during their developmental process, okay, this kiddo King, it seems to me like he did not get enough attention, care, validation. So he wasn't really able to develop an internal sense of worth and value. That's what it looks like is happening to me when I, when I, when I take a look at that. Um, so a lot of people or a lot of the people that are saying things like you just need to disown him. Why don't, you know, how can you talk to your parents like that? Blah, 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 blah. Well, they, they these, I mean, that's not helpful because King is really actually doing what kids do. This is not necessarily an abnormal response, depending on the environment in which he grew up in and what he has witnessed and how that affected him. So it seems to me like kiddo King is actually a little bit more on the sensitive side. And if the parents didn't realize that, and every time he got in trouble, especially maybe it started at home and he would get in trouble at home and T.I. Would, would bulk up at him and yell at him and they don't realize just, you know, the, the fact that you can't handle every personality in the same way. And with what it seems like to me with his personality, with King's personality, that would have been not the way to go when they when he was younger if he gets in trouble um because it seems like the reason that, that he's probably exhibiting this behaviors is because he's trying to prove something well why would you try to prove something it's when people try to prove something it's because they feel like they have something to prove hence they feel like they are lacking okay um so this also can be tied back to the child free movement. Okay. So when women say, you know, I, I think I'm good. I think I don't, I mean, I don't want any kids. They take a lot of time, effort, attention, and males then turn around and try to harass women over their decision, over the decision of women that has nothing to do with them. They can't even procreate. They have no business even joining the chat. But here they are trying to join the chat, trying to convince themselves that we women care about what they say when we don't, you know? So when women say, look, I don't want a kids because I have to think about the kid first, you know, if I'm going to be working all the time, if I have other goals in my career that I want to pursue, seems to me like the selfish thing to do would be to bring a child into this world knowing that I cannot or don't even really want to have to dedicate all of that time and attention towards figuring out how to best raise them appropriately. Because this is what it takes. And this is what can happen when both parents are super busy. You know, we both know, uh, we all know, sorry, we all know that T.I. and his a wife do some weird things in addition to you know I've heard about them having weird parties and stuff like that I wonder if he witnessed any of those things you got to think about these things um he probably did also uh they probably work a lot they're probably sell them home and each kid needs something different so they have king seems to me like 
he needed something different. And perhaps because they were working so much or so busy or whatever the case may be, perhaps this hindered that process and prevented that need from being fulfilled. But in the back and forth exchange that we just watched, that was tiny. You could hear tiny and, and, and that was her in the, in the fountain jacket. And she was just, she was trying to go back and forth and, and calm King down. And he, she was saying it was just a joke and King was so irate, right? He was so irate. So there's also the aspect of the emotional control. So this kiddo hasn't learned how to control his emotions, which is very dangerous for a 19 year old to be going into his twenties without having, without him having learned that. But then again, there's a lot of kiddos that not even kiddos, it's mostly males actually that go into their twenties, no clue how to emotionally regulate. So that's a good place. That would probably be a good place to start with, with this kiddo is look, we need to teach him maybe healthier ways of expressing his anger and his emotions. But that might be a little bit of an impossible endeavor because you can see how his, how he has chosen to express his anger and emotions mimics that of his dad to like to a T he mimics T I to a T so but then you want to come back and blame the child though you want to come back and say oh you just need to abandon your child they're not going to do that that's very idiotic for the people that are saying that T I and his wife do not seem like the type that would just be like oh let me just abandon my kid that doesn't that's, that doesn't seem like they would do that So, um, and I'm not saying that because I think they're just so great. I just, I just think they're great people. That's not why I'm saying that. I'm just saying what I'm, why the reason I'm saying that is from a psychological perspective. It's almost like, you know, when, when you, the way T.I. talks, he uses a lot of terms that are like ride or die type of thing, right? Ride or die, ride or die. You know, especially when he talks about his relationships, that's the vibe that I get. That's why I'm saying like, yeah, that's, I don't see that happening. So y'all might as well just save it. They probably laughing at y'all whenever you post silly things like that. Um, but, but, but yeah. So after all of this happened, King actually went to his Instagram page cause I, it went viral of course. And King went to his Instagram page to, in an attempt to, I suppose, defend himself in the only way he knows how. Because again, keep in mind that he hasn't really learned any other forms of coping. Especially for a child that's in the public eye, it becomes especially important to, to give them certain skill sets. <laughs> so he goes to his Instagram page and he posts the following. He says, I stand on business. Don't give a fuck who you are. Then he says, I don't give a fuck who you are. Mother efforts can't play with me in my face. Not going for that. I'm grown. Ooh, the way these kids write, honey. Y'all be grown and can't write properly, but I digress. I'm a grown ass man now, 100. Then he also says, if I'm a mistake, say that. Stop making the world think you fuck with me when you don't, 100. And then he also says, nigga be faking an image for the internet and it ain't me. Well, he said all of those things and posted those things, and I definitely think he was talking to his parents, but we can definitely see the hurt and the pain through those words. Um, I'm willing to bet that at some point, maybe they might have argued. Actually, he might have argued with his parents. Who knows? You never know if the parents have said things to him like, you're just a mistake. You were a mistake, you know, in the heat of the moment. That seems like something that T.I. and Tiny would say and do because of their temper, especially T.I. 
But they might not have said it because he said, if if I'm a mistake, just come out and say it. So maybe not. But there's a reason why he feels like he feels like his parents perceive him and see him as a mistake. And he felt he really felt uh, even more injured, I suppose, from that altercation because I suppose he feels like T.I. and his mom should have taken his side. So this tells me also that, you know, there's a good chance he's he's kind of he's fairly I mean, it seems to me like he's potentially spoiled and that might be a big problem as well. When you're spoiled and you think that everyone owes you something and you think that they should be on your side no matter what behavior you exhibit. Well, this is what you get in return when it comes to, you know, the child you're raising. <laughs> this is the potential outcome of that. But the most evident thing is that, you know, this is a kiddo that's clearly feeling very, very hurt. Clearly feeling very, very hurt. Stop talking. This ain't your restaurant. This ain't your restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That's fine, show you. Come back. Come back. What? Come On game what? Come back. On game what? Come here. Come here. How the I do? Come here. How the I do? Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. I'm outside. Come on. Shake some. Come on. Shake some. So, um... That's another example that he in, in that clip, he got into an altercation with someone that worked at a restaurant. Very, very rude, very, very disrespectful. And so, again, when you know, you, I need you all to think two, three times before coming for child free women. Because all these mothers try to make it sound like. It's such a great experience knowing they lying. Knowing that it is super hard and it is anything but a great experience. You don't know what you're going to end up with when it comes to the kid and how they turn out. But so you see him there in that altercation being so mean and so rude and disrespectful. But again, it seems to me like he's trying to prove something. And the only reason you go, you set out to try to prove things is if you feel like you are lacking, if you feel like you are not good enough. So that is probably what needs to be addressed. That's the core issue of what needs to be addressed, most likely. Is his feeling of emptiness. Because it's, it's kind of clear to me that it seems to me like he, there's a, an innate feeling of emptiness there, which is in turn causing a lot of angry outbursts and anger. But again, he reminds me just like T.I. He reminds me of T.I. Um... T.I. even posted a response to this. You know, me and his uncles, you know, it was per we were perplexed by his necessity to go back and forth with the short order cook. I didn't understand why he felt he needed to stop what he was doing to engage someone who is at such another level of life okay so ti now like so in that response we can see ti trying to act funny trying to act confused trying to sound smart but he ain't smart clearly he's not smart so you abusing someone for 
the job that they have and you're basically saying your child is so good and so much better than them why, like he, why did he even stoop so low the irony the irony that you can't see why like the irony that you can't see why your child is behaving in this way when these are the type of things that come out of your mouth So this is what you've been teaching him this whole time. And now you want to act crazy. Now you want to act confused. Now you want to act like it's the child's fault. It's kiddo's fault that he's behaving in the way that he's behaving when it is fully your fault. You refuse to teach him the value of human life. You refuse to teach him that everyone deserves respect regardless of what profession they are in. You refuse to teach him that because you yourself don't know that. So how could you possibly even teach it? So for all the people that are out there trying to drag kiddo, that it, you're dragging the wrong person. It is the parent's responsibility. Again, that's why child-free women, we know that. That's why we think about these things beforehand. But all these people, oh, 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 you know, they should just disown him. Da, 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 da. You getting your feelings hurt? Like disown your own child? Like what are you even saying? What are you even talking about? He didn't ask you to bring him onto this earth. You did that on your own. And if you did that for selfish reasons because you thought in your Delulu mindset and your Delulu world, you thought that you were going to get a thank you, that's your fault. You shouldn't have brought a child into this world just because you wanted a thank you. Just because you want them to respect you. Those are silly, silly reasons. Because that child is going to grow up to be their own person and there's no telling what they're going to choose to do, what direction, what path they're going to choose to take. You need to understand that if you're going to bring a child into this world. So for the people that are coming up here saying, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. he's, you know, he, he just needs to be disowned, blah, 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 blah. It's like, what kind of, are you a parent? I really hope not. To be saying those things publicly? I really hope not. There's also another video where King reveals that he actually lives with his grandparents. But when they were film when they were filming the shows and episodes, they would give him a call, let him know, and he would have to go down there on the weekends. I would not be surprised if he feels even further unwanted and alone because it's clear to me he feels alone and he feels lonely. That's why he's that's one of one of the biggest reasons why he's so defensive, because if you think back at what he said during the altercation in that that game that they were watching. He said something like, why wouldn't you take my side? Like, why are you defending them or something like to that effect? I'm paraphrasing. So he this is also a child that feels isolated. These are the issues. These are the core issues that they would need to start tackling if they want any hope for anything better when it comes to these behavioral outbursts from the kiddo. Uh, let's take a look at when he talks about the fact that he doesn't even live with them. So he probably feels kiddo probably feels even more isolated, even more unwanted and probably never even shared that with his parents. I don't know. I don't even know if he would be able to share it with his parents. I don't know that he, you know, has the emotional IQ to kind of quite put together that explanation, but I'm sure he hasn't even tried. And it's a lot about that TV show, man, that got people confused because um, I live with my grandma. You know, we'll go to the house on like a weekend. They'll say, hey, we shooting today. We need y'all at the house. They'll come get me from my grandma's house. And right after we done, when the cameras go off, I'm right back to my grandma's house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he doesn't even live at 
his parents. He doesn't live with his parents. Um, it's It seems like King's situation and his growing up is very different from the other kids that that T.I. and Tiny have. And so I would not be surprised if he spends his time comparing that and that kind of fuels this anger and pain that he has internally because he spends his time comparing his the way he he gets treated to the way he his siblings get treated. I would not be surprised if that is also a big part of what's kind of exasperating this feeling of loneliness and a lack of value and inherent worth. But I just really wanted to cover this story. Y'all let me know what you think. Comment below. What are your thoughts? Um, also, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button for me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.